All right, there's a video. It's uh, disassemble, remove, and adjust and reinstall the regular on Edgun R3. All right, first thing, I remove the stock. As we can see, it's the action. First thing I'm going to do is remove the trigger assembly. This whole one piece here. All right. It's only, it's only three screws I hold this on. Close. These two screws here. Remember, when you take this off, make sure the gun is uncocked. All right, you don't want to spring tension all right, and the shearing gauge because uh, it might accidentally you know, release release a trigger and you might end up by breaking your uh, hammer spring tension adjuster shaft on it. Alright, make sure it's uncocked. Alright, there's spring tension on here. When you loosen this last screw here, you gotta kinda hold it firmly uh, with the thumb facing that way or the tension. Alright, because the spring wants to, uh, you know, misalign, uh, get a hard time unscrewing this last screw because of the spring tension on the spring. Yeah, and slowly release it. It wants to, wants to, spring tension wants to move it that way. There you go. That's the spring tension I'm talking about right here. Alright. One assembly. I will pause here and we'll continue on. Alright, this one we're going to remove the breech assembly. Alright, to do that, we got to remove these two screws here, one here, one right there. Here's your rear cap. Alright, let's keep this all intact. Breach block it has been removed. We'll pause here. I uh, pause the pause the camera, the video. Well, there was a crow at 55 yards on top of this 12-story building. Hit him with hit him right on the chest, and down he goes. Shot him. Uh, shot him with a Royal 400 AZ tune. All right, that was fun. Anyway, all right, I bled all the air out. I have a little gadget that screws on here, compresses the, the valve stem and releases all the air. So there's no air in here. We're going to just disassemble, remove this, this screw here, one here, two, three. This holds hair tube and regular assembly 
in there too. All right. Fill side There's also three cap screws that holds the gauge and fill assembly together. All right, let's, let's continue. I had a hard time there, but I unscrewed the cap for the fill gauge. Just kind of turn it and screws out. All right. Now, to remove the other, the air tube, the regular air assembly, you just got to push it out. Well, I noticed uh, I have a PVC right here. Right. And there's a to protect the a regular, right? It fits right in there and it hits the outside of the reg regular and punches it out. So, so I'm pushing it. I'm not even tapping it out, I'm just going to put pressure on it. Slides out slowly. Right there. There we go. Alright. Recently, the PVC is just. It goes around this piece here, your lock nut. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't ruin the thread. You push it out. All right, we're gonna pause this and then we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna disassemble the rig.